Cheers. Cheers. Oh my god. Its bark is worse than its bite. Hello and welcome to a special episode of Between Two Pints. I'm your host Rob and with me today is Mayumi and we are drinking whiskey. It's another whiskey tasting episode. Yeah. Today we are actually drinking... Yeah, it's <laughs> we're drinking whiskey. We're drinking a white oak whiskey from Japan called Akashi. Mm-hmm. Oh, here, I got my close-up. I'm going to do it. Da-da. Akashi. Yes. Okay, now it's your turn. <laughs> uh, this side, probably. Oh, God, yeah, here? No, no, the other side. Close oh, to God, me. Oh, God, here? Yeah. Da-da. Akashi. No, you got to say Akashi. Oh, I got to say Akashi. Yeah, you can use this as a thing for your short. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Do Akashi. Okay. I love that you do your own sound effects. <laughs> That's the Japanese in me. Oh, really? We always have like this intense sound effect, you know, like That's in awesome. comic books. Is that like, like when you run really fast? There's like lines flickering around. Yeah, exactly. Or like when you're you sweating, not... there's a sweat coming down. Oh, or when but you're only in one drop. Shock. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> thank you for joining me today. No, thank you. Thank we're, you for having me. We're actually going to talk about your short film, yes. Akashi. Oh my goodness, yes. And I was really lucky enough to get, be able to help you guys out on a couple of shoot days, and I took some stills, so I may put random stills in over while we're talking, because I'm very proud of the Beautiful photos. ones that he took. So, your short film. Give us like a synopsis in like a sentence or two of what happens in it. Yes, absolutely. Oh my god. How do I do that? I always, okay, this is... Perhaps I, you need more is, whiskey. No, that's true. <laughs> you should have drank a pint of it. No, then I would be like, hi. <laughs> or you'd be uh, telling us how it really is. <laughs> it was a shit show. I'm kidding. No, it no. wasn't. No, it was great. No, it was great. Okay, well, I can tell you what I know, and then yeah. you can fill in the blue. <laughs> okay, <else>. great. <laughs> so it's, it has to do with a girl and her grandmother and her perceptions of her family. Yes. But what was really interesting for me was that um, this is not just like the story that you're, you are the director, you are also the star, but you, you wrote this, I believe. Yes. And now it is, it wasn't just a short film for Tell a Story High. Before that, it was something else. Can you tell us about that? Yeah, absolutely. So it, um, it was a play originally for the Fringe Festival last year in Vancouver through my arts collective called Old Movements, Old Movements, Old Movement Society. This story orig- originated from a conversation with my grandmother, my actual grandmother, five years ago. And um, it's inspired by that lunch we had over Okonomiyaki. I don't know if you know. I love before. Okonomiyaki. I know, it's actually it's my the favorite. Best. It is it was the best. so sad on set seeing the stunt food, and I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I know, yes. It was actually really hard to find Okonomiyaki in Vancouver. I know. I am well really aware of that. Really tough, really tough. There's one place, but I've gotten food poisoning from it twice. The fact that I oh. went back after the first time should tell you how hard it <laughs> You're is. You're like, maybe this time. <laughs> if I drink a bunch of tequila before, it'll like. Cool, Maybe stomach. oh, but yeah. So, so you had um, conversation with your grandmother. Yes, it really inspired me to um, write a story about it. But I, as I think a lot of people would do, um, I got scared and I procrastinated in actually making the story out of it. And it took me, yeah, like five years. So last year, when I had the opportunity to um, uh, put a, a fringe festival show on, I wrote this play and um with uh 10 cast for 70 minutes and yeah it was it was so fun it was really really fun how was the french festival doing a play usually it can be quite financially costly we were actually very very lucky mainly because oh i don't know actually i don't know if it's mainly um i tried to i always cast people that i absolutely love obviously and um i had a stellar cast I had 10 cast so when you have a huge company, you know, um, audience would increase as well, naturally. Mm-hmm. And uh, we were really able to make a, f- a fairly good profit for... You actually made money. That's awesome. Yeah, we did. <laughs> but now, you, you were also mentioning that the Fringe will make locations available to you, and yes. they're a lot more affordable than normal. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, we applied for the main stage theater um category for the vancouver fringe festival so i think it was like around 500 600 dollars to once you get the the lottery once you get the spot and then once you pay that then the ticket sales is is all ours well pretty much yeah yeah pretty much all ours so um yeah fringe is awesome if you're trying to start up a theater company or if you just even for like uh you know 
a, a one-time thing if you want yeah. to do theater. It's a very approachable thing, and it's, I, I mean, you need to win the lottery. It's so. fine. I can always do my, my, like, the dream of doing a science fiction play. Oh, my God. Yeah, like Star Trek, something oh my, like that. Well, the only thing, though, <laughs> for Fringe Fest was that you share a venue. Yeah. So it needs to be, That's you know, it needs to be compact. And then, yeah, Just there. roll in the stuff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But yeah, so we were very lucky to do that. So yeah, you had the script for your play, and you've mm-hmm. done it, and it was successful. You're happy with it. Yes, very. Awesome. Very, very, so very. now, can you tell me, like, tell us Story Hive. I don't know, like, our viewers may not know about that. This may yes. Be, yeah. Um, so tell us Story Hive. I don't know where it started. I'm not actually really sure. But um, they have different categories. They have web series. They have animation. They have digital short. And my competition that I entered was a digital short. And this year was specifically for female directors. Were you going to direct it before? Yay. No. Well, I was scared. I've never even... This is my first time directing. Oh, wow. Yeah. So if it didn't... To be honest, if it didn't say female director, I probably wouldn't have submitted. Because okay. it's, it's scary. It's a lot of know? work. It's hard. Yeah. Yeah. So... And because it's a Japanese... A uh, Japanese film, and I wrote it, that I probably, I thought, you know, I probably knew know the best how to make it. Yeah. Or it would be most convenient if I directed it. <laughs> well, and, and some of it, too, is, I mean, you, you know the project better than anybody else. Yeah. So it, it does make a lot more sense. And it, in that you've yeah. already done the play, so you've really already it's walked true. through all those explorations. Yes. But I had a really, really, really great bunch of people supporting me with mm-hmm. the project, so... Yeah, and I think it's really showing in the short film the how um, it's a it's it's really a collective of people loving the project. Like, thankfully, really, it was so awesome to talk to people like personally, and they would tell me how their grandparents had this kind of past, and like, oh. and um, it was actually interesting because this this and this is why I'm like oh, I'm getting a little emotional. Yeah, this show. It's it, we're, we deal with death in this show in in Akashi, and um, in production we actually part. Some of our crew actually lost our like you know family People. members, so it's it's become like a really special piece for a lot of us. Wow. Yeah. So it's it's interesting. It's actually it's almost like the film itself became my life because mm-hmm. my, my grandmother passed away in January. Oh, that's, I'm so sorry. That's okay. Yeah, no, 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 no. I mean, I mean, thank you. But um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> wow. That's really but interesting. It, it did was she, surreal. Did, now, did, had surreal. She, did she know you were filming Akashi at the time too? She, she sort of did. I mean, her, yeah, yeah, her, she wasn't yeah, well. oh, yeah. yeah. But, um, I told her about the play and so she was, she was really embarrassed because like, oh, why would <laughs> no, anyone want to hear about my story? Oh. And then, um, I said that, yeah, we're making a film. And then she mentioned that too. She was like, she was just so embarrassed and was, and was very, and also was very grateful. So, but um, yeah, the exact same thing happened in, in, because the film starts with the main character getting a phone call from her parents who are living in Japan and um, she's living abroad. And it starts with her getting a phone call that her grandmother just passed away. Mm-hmm. And then it goes to Japan. So, right. Yeah. And now you filmed in all of this in in Vancouver. How many shoot days was it? Uh, six altogether, three weekends. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. Now the short film's going to be available soon, isn't it? It is now available. Yeah, so it's now available. PM. We actually we're doing a, uh, an emergency edit and launch for this because what I want <laughs> you guys to do is please go check it out. We'll have links below. Go vote for it on Tell Us. Uh, what, what do you guys win if you vote? Like what? So we win um, a mentorship through Tell Us Story Hive. And we also get to go to Banff Media Festival and meet all these industry professionals and pitch our project. So, yeah, that would be a really great opportunity for Akashi and so, a lot of us. Cool. Well, thanks for joining me in <laughs> Miami. Thanks, guys, for watching. Thank you. Please, like, watch along. You know what? Pause this in the middle. Watch watch the short film and, and then come back and leave comments. Please go vote on it if you don't mind. <laughs> and, yeah, if it's the future, just check out the short film anyway. Yep, and exactly. this is us drinking whiskey. Cheers. Cheers.